Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. Um, today, we are going to show you all how we have done the window installations to the van. Hopefully, it's a helpful video. If you all are doing a, a van build, um, maybe you can get some tips from us. Um, but first, came out here to see if the papayas are ready, but they're not. So I'm going back in. <laughs> Before starting work on the van every day, me and my dad are going to the gym to start the day nice and healthy, right dad? Yes, <laughs> we need it. <laughs> Done with the gym and back to work on the van build. Here is our, whoa, <laughs> here's our beautiful template. Now we put it on top of the window and cut out the middle piece to then trace it. Next step, we put it on something like this to make it a little bit above the table so we can fit and be able to trace it perfectly again. I repeat, I keep saying perfectly because you want it as perfect as possible. All right, another great tip is when you're doing a van build, you probably want to pick a cooler state <laughs> than Florida. But we're out here working and getting things done. And of course, safety first. Shout out to Pac for always keeping me safe on and off the bike. <laughs> First cut is done. We got one layer of this beam looking thing out. Now we're gonna cut the main piece of the van. We're about to install the window that goes right there. <laughs> we cut out probably about six. We're tossing these and we're sticking with the one that we have. I should probably make a template for everyone because none of the windows come with one. It's actually mind blowing. But anyways, I'm gonna take this template, stick it on that wall, and it's going to become that beautiful creation. Whew. And yes, I've made complete walls all around the van because we don't want this dust, metal dust, to go anywhere else. It's obviously going to go everywhere, but we want to contain it as much as possible, and I'll fill that up. All right, so just to give a little rundown of the tools we used, we used one of these to cut this piece, which is considered, I guess, the beam on the van wall. And then once that was off, we used this to cut the actual van, make the hole. Um, yeah, this was for the stencils and we had to file the window. And we used a couple drill guns. Yeah, this is, this is pretty much all the tools we used. And of course, some cafe. <laughs> All right, once we put this, stuck it to the wall, we're gonna drill a hole in that corner and then this corner. Next step, we've switched the template to this side, matching the holes that we made with the drill. We put some pens there to hold it and now we traced it around. Final step before cutting, we've made our outline and that's where we are going to cut through. Last step before cutting into the van. We've cut the van open. Final steps. Dad, you got it? The bottom one? Yeah. Pero now my dad's gonna put the frame on the back side, well, the inside of the van, to then place the screws and screw it all in. <laughs> and we want to do it as tight as possible because we, we're not using caulking or sealant. Because the window already comes with it. 
Um, Florida's having a big tropical storm, so we're gonna put it to the test. <laughs> so window number two has been installed. You know what that means? I always got, oh gosh. See that? See that little tail right there? That's a lizard. I don't like lizards. So, oh, you can see him right in there. All right, little guy, gotta get out of there. It's the beautiful thing of Florida. These lizards are everywhere. Here's the test. Go. Just replicating a storm. Okay, so a little van build update. I am proud to announce that the windows are installed perfectly. We've had a couple thunderstorms and they've held up great. No leaks at all. Pumped on that. Emphasize on the fact that we did not use any caulking or anything for the windows. As you can see, super clean, just window to the van. We've pretty much just relied on what the window comes with. I mean, that's what it's for. But you just have to do the cut really precise and um, just screw the end, the back side of this, which is the frame, really tight into the van. So the last touches for the window, we had to improvise a little bit and get new screws for these. They originally wanted us to have it here and here but it just wouldn't hold down hard enough. So we improvised, spray painted some other screws and we're putting in. Another thing that we found was that these little things that hold the screen, this is the proper way. So you're supposed to move it like that, but we had to flip this one around because if not, it was rattling. We couldn't have that. So I'm gonna show you a couple other things that we've finished on the van or just a work in progress. This is a, a lot of work. <laughs> so today's job was to check if the flooring that came with the van um, has insulation in it and... It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. We lifted them up. These are the boards. We tied them there so we didn't have to fully take them out of the car. We're gonna place the insulation on the floor and then put the wood back on and then insulate the whole rest of the van. Now when we do the insulation, we have to make sure we leave this holes open so we can tie. So we can put, bolt them back down. Them back down. So this is Mercedes insulation for flooring. <laughs> Not good enough. So we're gonna put some more. So for insulation, we went with the 3M Thinsulate um, for the entire van. I'm gonna put it everywhere, starting with the floor. A little bit of the progress here for the insulation days. Gotten more of it done. Got some of the big portions too. How do you feel, Dad? telling me nine to five baby we've been out here every day <laughs> it's hard work what's up everyone just wanted to uh give everyone a little update hope you guys enjoyed this video on the van build um a lot of things are on back order so i'm probably gonna have to wait maybe this month for a couple of things to arrive so i've decided to come back to California due to the fires. Um, the forests are closed here in this whole state, but there's a couple things that are open that I've been trying to ride um, while I'm out here in Tahoe. Such a beautiful place. I'm super sad to see all these fires. Hopefully the fires will be out soon and we can all enjoy this beautiful, beautiful place. And if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button, that like, 
comment, share, do all those incredible things. I would greatly appreciate it, everyone. And hope you guys are having an incredible day and stay tuned for the next video. I am so excited to bring you guys along. I am headed to Truckee Bike Park and I'm taking you all with me. Stay tuned for the next video and find out if I can successfully make it through this jump line. In the meantime, hope you all are having an incredible day. Get out and ride your bikes.